How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Algol Star System, and let's play Fantasy Star 4. So last episode, there was a big commotion, and a huge monster came out of Birth Valley. Now we're heading back in to see what's come of the Professor and his team. Pick up a monomate that we missed the first time through. The monster that came out was the same as the first boss we fought early in the game. So I wonder what's going on. Speaking of which, we never were able to see behind the... Whoa! whoa. The monsters from the depths are... Professor Holt has gone into the depths and not returned. Maybe it's too late. No. Professor Holt has gone into the depths of Birth Valley and hasn't come back since. After all we did to obtain the Alshline to turn him from stone back to flesh. This teacher of yours is such a pain in the butt. Whoa! Bioplant? Is this the ruins of the Biosystems Lab? Yikes! What's that? We're, we're going to die! Stop cowering! Men are such cowards! It's nothing. Th that's true. There's some writing here. Sterilization treatment completed. Please follow the line on the floor. Well, okay. Ismonos. Oh, that all but killed Han in one shot. That's never a good thing. Fortunately, easy enough to top and back off. And over here. There's the line, but let's see if maybe there's something on the other side. Yep. Cure paralysis. Two of them! Wonderful. Let's hope Grizz doesn't miss this time, and let's hope they don't both attack Han. Ah! It's a crit on Chaz. Don't attack Han, don't attack Han. Alice. Pressing the wrong button. Chaz should be okay at 44 for now. Another two. Leave poor Han alone! Damn it! <sighs> That's not what I wanted to do this early. Let me check the... Now that we've turned everybody back from stone... Is there a weapon shop, an armor shop in here? Is this anything better than what we've already got? No. It's all graphite suits and carbon armor. I might need to give in and lower Han's damage to give him a shield. Because he's just taking way too much. Make 
make our way back in. At least we got some good experience out of it. Earned a couple hundred in that short, brief run. And at least we know we can get back there without taking a hit with how weak this stuff is now. Really? They had to do that whole conversation again because I warped out? Geist Falks. Great, she missed two. got two down pretty quick. Alice took some hits, but... Eh, good experience, though. So you know what? There's a monitor there. Let's... Some writing here. Elevator W3 to the west section. Elevator E3 to the central block. Check the west section first. If I have to make a couple runs in this place, so be it. Killed him before he could even get to attack. Nice. Surprise attack, at least. Means we can take at least one of them down before they can attack us. And hopefully we'll get lucky and be able to kill a second one. Yeah, these things are just ridiculously powerful. I need to throw a quick heal on both Alice and Chaz here. At least healing is a lot faster in this one. Yeah, I had to switch Han and Grizz's positions. Two Neo Whistles! Robotic enemies. Chests and one full chest here. Graft Crown. A Gilgenova. It's doing fission still. I'm gonna focus on the main body for one more round. Ow! Was a level up for, I believe, Grizz. Throw some more heals out here. Yeah, it was a level up for Grizz. He boosted his max HP to 93. West section, unauthorized entry prohibited beyond this point. Completely sealed. I wonder if it collapsed from an earthquake or something. Well, I guess we're not going any further this direction. Four sensor bits. Ah. 
Ow. Oof. At least they don't have much health. Chaz level up. Learn Ryuka. Nice. We all know how useful that is. Han's got to top himself off here. It's kind of the bad luck that he has both the lowest HP and the lowest defense. But he makes up for it in his abilities, especially having as many heals as he does. So let's go ahead and head to the central block. Three more sensor bits. This time, thank God. Alice and Chaz are gonna need heals. Victory! I'm gonna have, have Chaz throw these two out. As long as he has enough to cast a Ryuka, I'm fine. Here's more of those exper test specimen tubes we saw the academy. Ambush, that's never good. Please don't let Han go. Damn it! You know what? I'm just saying screw it. We'll see how this goes. It's like as long as I leave Chaz enough TP to cast Pinos, we can get out of here. That's right, there's this whole floor still. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, we've gotten that little detour out of the way. Let me check something. I doubt it is, but... Huh, it is an upgrade over the titanium. Well, let's go to the weapon shop. Buy that for Han. I don't think there's anything better here. That will help a little bit. And why didn't he have both of his titanium daggers equipped? Still a bit of an improvement for Han. Let's go back in and try to finish this place off really quick. Extra six points of defense will give him a little more survivability. And again, at least all the detours are done, so... Yes, I know, again. I wonder if this is the ruins of the Biosystems Lab. The name like Birth Valley, it would make sense.
One down. Two down. I like battles where we don't get hit by anything. Then we get ambushed in the very next battle, and Han gets almost one shot again. Wonderful. You gotta be kidding me. Thank God. If he had gone down again in the second freaking battle back, I would have said, screw it, and just pressed forward. But we need him to get the experience just as much as anybody else. He's the only one that's not level 9 yet. And the fact that he keeps dying doesn't help that. And it's 387 more. What is with everything ambushing us today? And of course, one of my biggest attacks misses. Hate to waste it, but I had to. I do not want to start this place a third frickin' time. And I'm not exactly under-leveled. Or under-equipped, for that matter. That's what's so crazy about this. There's the Professor. Professor, thank goodness you're safe. Oh, it's you, Han. You came to rescue me. Good job. Well, it seems pretty safe here. But how on earth were you able to escape on your own? Well, you see, this person here came to my rescue. Who? Welcome, everybody. I'm glad to have you here. What? Who are you? My name is Rika. Pleased to meet you. Rika. Those ears. What on earth are you? And what is this place? This is the bio plant. It's a research facility for bioengineering created by a thousand-year-old civilization. Th this is from an ancient advanced civilization. Is it still operational? Oh, yes! What's more, this isn't the only one. There are many such systems that have maintained their functionality. And it's thanks to these systems which control Motavia's climate, soil, and ecology systems that the human race was able to avoid total destruction after the Great Collapse. Really? Is that true? If that's the case, how come this recent environmental destruction is taking place? Even though this control system is still functioning, it can barely maintain the minimal conditions for your existence. Even now, this system is starting to run out of control. Chaz, do you understand? What? Well, uh... Then does that mean the recent increase of biomonsters is coming from here? Yes, unfortunately so. If you want to know more, talk to Seed. He's over there. Seed? So this is the Biosystems Lab. So where's this person called Seed? He's right in front of you. What's going on? I am Seed the control computer for this bioplant. Wow! An artificial intelligence! I, I can't believe it! That's right, this is no exception. Check my status here. The system is beyond my control. It is continuously breeding harmful monsters. Just as I thought. If we leave each of these systems running out of control, along with the monster problem, we will have abnormal climate conditions and violent changes in the planet's surface. Motavia will be destroyed. What shall we do? 
The only thing we can do is shut down the system. But stopping the system itself will cause problems. We won't be able to maintain the ecosystem. That's better than the system ruining everything. But these systems are spread out all over the place. Don't worry. All we have to do is shut down the plant Nervous, which supplies energy to each system. That will shut them all down. First, please rescue the control android, Demi. She's the only one that can stop Nervous. Rescue? What do you mean, rescue? Right now, Demi is being held hostage by a man named Zeo. Zeo again? Who on earth is this Zeo? I myself don't know what Zeo is all about. So all we have to do is rescue this Demi, right? Where is she being held hostage? She is with Zeo, and the name of that castle is Zeo's Fort. Is that, by any chance, beyond the quicksand of Mile? Oh, that sinister-looking castle north of Zima. It's a pretty long way to go, but having heard all this, we have no choice. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've felt so excited. And while we're at it, why don't we get rid of that disgusting character, Zeo? Hey, that's the spirit! So will you go? Please take Rika with you. Who is this girl, anyway? She seems curiously knowledgeable about these matters. She is... my child. Are you saying that she is an artificial life form? That's right. She is a product of a thousand years of improvement on genetic information from a prototype prior to the Great Collapse. Nay! She's a refined version of Nay! I have also given her a basic education. She will surely be a great help to you. All right, Seed, we'll take her. Thank you. I've always wanted to be able to see the outside world. Rika, take care. Okay, let's get going to Zeo's fort. I must first go back to the academy. We have to spread this information as much as possible. There is only one way for me to stem the outbreak of monsters. Now that I have sent into the world the fruit of a thousand years worth of research, there are no obstacles to its execution. We're outdoors! Wow, I didn't know the sky was so blue. These flowers! They're so beautiful! How lovely! Being cooped up all this time underground, everything must be so novel. What was that? An explosion! Seed! Rika, you must carry on the will of Seed. You can't look back now. I know. We've got to hurry and stop the system that's running out of control. For Seed's sake, too. First, we'll have to rescue this android called Demi. We'll have to go to Zeo's fort. That's just what we all wanted to do. You're talking about that castle from beyond the quicksand that can be seen from the village of Mile. I guess we'll have to go around from the north. Well, this seems as good of a place as any to go ahead and wrap this episode up. I hope you've enjoyed, and next episode, we will begin our journey towards Zeo's fort. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you next time when we return to the Algol star system. Farewell. <laughs>